Hi guys, and I wanted to bring you along for a quick and easy crock pot recipe that is a family favorite of mine. Um, and with two cranky twins uh, that aren't feeling that well, I'm going to have my hands full today, and so I want to make sure that I have a good meal ready for my son when he gets out of school and my husband when he gets off work. So my crock pot today is my best friend. So let's bring you along for a delicious and easy Philly cheese steak sandwich recipe. Okay guys, I'm glad you stayed. So I have here a, uh, it's a cap round roast steak. Um, I think is what it was called. <clears throat> and it is still pretty frozen. I got them on sale and froze some of them. Um, but this was a little over a pound. And I like a lot of vegetables in mine, but if you want more meat, go for a bigger, uh, a bigger roast. And then to add to it, I'm adding two uh, pretty good sized uh, green uh, peppers. And then I have two small onions that I've also sliced up. And I'm just going to sit those right on top. And then I have two cups of beef broth. And I used a uh, beef base. I love it. Um, and then just mix that with water. Dump that in. Uh, still have a little bit. I'll get that out in a second. And then the only other thing we're going to add is I have some Italian dressing mix. Italian dressing mix I'm going to mix in there. And then a bit of pepper. And just a touch of salt because I made the broth a little strong. So it shouldn't need much more salt. Okay, and that's all there is. That is it. We're going to let this go. Um, I'm going to put it on high for um, four hours just because it's not a big roast. So even though it's frozen... Um, it should be done at the four hour mark. If not, I can always let it go longer or you could do it on low for six to eight hours. But again, that's just depending on the size of your roast. Sometimes if this is fresh, I could probably get it done on high in two hours. So it's just whatever, um, size you're using. And then of course, just check it. Um, when it starts heating up, I'm going to go in and stir it around a bit, um, but I'm going to let it heat up first, and then I'll incorporate all the stuff on top. And I will bring you back whenever we are plating this up, and I'm making my sandwiches. All right, guys, so it has been pretty much on the dot four hours, and this is what it looks like. It is super tender and super delicious. So, I'm just going to take some. Since it's mine, I'll use my hands. See, it just falls apart. My husband likes it in strips, but I'd rather have it in little chunks. So, I'm going to break mine up. And so, like so, I'm really excited this got done in the four hour mark too, because if you can't hear, my son is in the background, and he's hungry too. So there's that. Here is our mixture of onions and peppers. So I'm just going to take some of that, put that over top. I open the fridge for me. Hold on. Sit that right. And there you have it. There you are.
that is one delicious sandwich all right guys i hope you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and i hope you try this out it's super quick super easy and great if you don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen but you want something hearty and delicious to put on the table uh, until next time